I'm Melvin Jackson, and you're watching 50 Shades of Dashiki. Americano, the drink that Melvin has, which is espresso with hot water. And Americano got his name from when the troops that were stationed in Europe the espresso drinks were too strong for them, so they added water to it. Therefore, it was labeled Americano. So Americano is espresso, half espresso, half hot water. Americano is the loose espresso, which was obviously too strong for our American soldiers. Okay, now take me back to 1985. Um, our initial name was called Color Me Coffee, which meant everything about us was coffee. Yes. Um, we had a couple of retail operations. And to make a long story short, I got into the business. Um, my ex-wife was a flight attendant. I tell everyone, if you're going to marry a woman, marry a flight attendant. <laughs> anyway, we saw the world, fell in love with the different cultures um, in Europe, of course. We fell in love with the cafes, and we knew we wanted to start our own business. So we decided on coffee. We researched the industry for a little over a year and a half, traveling West Coast, Europe, East Coast, you name it. We did our research, so uh, we finally found a perfect location um, back in 1985 and um, opened up. We, you know, we had a, what you call a full-size coffee house, not a cafe, but a coffee house. We actually roasted on the premises. We served coffee by the cup and all the other drinks associated with it. And we also saw whole bean, along with any coffee or tea accessories that was on the market. So we were a full coffee house. Industry, like most industries, very competitive. Um, a black person being in the coffee industry is, is pretty much um, an, an oddity. Um, it took years before people actually trusted that I had quality. Pr it took years. I mean, I've been in the business. We're about to celebrate 40 years wow. in a minute. Yes. And um, trust, integrity, mm -hmm. competitive pricing, customer service. We offer all of that. So. Yes. Um, it's been a long road, but we, we finally starting to see a lot more success. Okay. What were some of the keys to your success? Like, what was the turning point to get you from where you found yourself constantly beating your head against the wall to break through the barriers to now it's a little less difficult than it was, let's say, almost 40 yeah. years ago for you? Well, being accepted by what we call um, major institutions, um, we had a count. We have an account with Northwestern University, which is which is major. I mean, that's mm -hmm. back 20 years ago probably wouldn't have been possible. Correct. Um, we also Target. Okay. We have a customer that buys for us. We private label, and she supplies Target. Okay. 10, 15 years ago probably wouldn't have happened. Um, also QVC. We got a customer that's on QVC. Been accepted by major institutions, and being able to let the public know those are our connection has really skyrocketed our business. We roast a Brazilian bean with flavor with a vanilla extract, a caramel extract, a chocolate extract, you name it, peanut butter, uh, pecan, orange, lemon, you name it. Most coffee aficionados like Starbucks and some of your other franchises don't believe in flavored coffee. But I flavor, most flavored coffee that you purchase from the store, you smell it more so than you taste it, but you really taste our flavored coffee because not only do we add uh, a very expensive extract of flavor, but like a coffee like a hazelnut, we would put real hazelnuts in there. Okay. Coffee like Southern Pecan, we put real pecans in there. Coconut, real coconut strips. Peanut butter, real peanuts. Okay. You name it. Um, so all natural products. Natural products, and you really taste the flavor. You really taste the flavor. What are, what are some of the things that you've learned now that you wished you would have learned 
let's say, 20 years ago. <laughs> the good book says a fool and his money shall soon be separated. Be smart with your money. Okay. And also, planning is, is so important. Um, if we had to plan this vision, it wouldn't happen. Obviously, you got to visualize it before you realize it. So mm -hmm. you got to do your homework. You got to do your research. It's probably our third You just got to stay okay. with your dream. And we're actually looking to move out of here. Our next strategy is to relocate, rebuild. We have a website. Through. And you can go to stiverscoffee.com. Okay. And uh, you can order online. You can call us. You can text us. You can email us. It's Whatever works for you. We don't okay. got any questions, issues. But the best way to, to really see what we offer is to go online, check out the website. Okay, and that is www.stiverscoffee.com. Okay, all right, thanks a lot. Yeah, well thank um, you. It's been a pleasure, I just wanted to say thank you again. I had the pleasure of having the pralines and cream. Uh, it, was, it was arguably some of the best coffee I've ever had in my life. Thank you. Uh, I've had coffee from many places around the world. So I'm not just yeah, saying it, yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah, really yeah giving you yeah. like a for real dude you got some magic with them beans so to all of you that are watching make sure that you go to stiverscoffee.com check out his amazing variety of coffees flavors and blends and uh make sure that you support not just because it's a black owned business but it is a very great quality product you will not be disappointed okay Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and share it with a friend.